way that we can introduce our best man, and that is the right way. Standing at six foot two, 185 pounds. Thank you, thank you. Please, 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 please. I know everybody comes here drunk. Um, there, comes, there comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their one true, what we think of as a soulmate, a person who will know and love them their whole life, someone who knows the real them. And that moment for Steve came 31 years ago when he met me. For those of you who don't know me, I am John DeRosa, the groom's brother and best man. Your night has now taken you to the time of my five minute best man speech. If there is anyone in here nervous and apprehensive at what lies ahead, it's probably because you just married Steve DeRosa. <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? A little late, but thanks. <laughs> By the way, thank you for making me your best man. After 25 years of competition, you finally come out to admit I'm the best of the men you know. <laughs> Dad, that includes you. <laughs> In earnest, I wish to thank I be, wish to begin by thanking the mother of the bride, Mrs. Gain, and my parents, Pete and Pat. for their collaborative efforts in making this day such a glamorous occasion. <laughs> Hi, Mom. It's a real privilege to celebrate the joining of our two families. Everyone here looks very beautiful. Thank you for that. Uh, but speaking of truly beautiful, our bride, Shub, looks absolutely stunning. Round of applause for Shub. It's clear that... Right? Right? It's clear to see why Steve is so enchanted by her. Um, to be honest, she right now makes you look a little more handsome than you actually are. Um, I also wish to thank the other guests from both families who have individually and collectively done so many wonderful things to help shape the lives of Steve and Chubb. It'd be impossible for me to name each one of you. So I'll just do a few. Chubb, you have a wonderful mom. She taught you to be a strong, smart, independent woman. She has a warm heart toward everyone and anyone, and under no circumstances will she ever let you leave the table until your vegetables are done. <laughs> and that includes this table. Chubb, your sister Shaveda taught you sincerity when long ago you learned from her to come out of your shell as shyness. Growing up, Chubb was a bit of a tomboy, but her sister taught her how to be more of a girly girl which also, incidentally, worked out really well for Steve. <laughs> Nayeri, your best friend, taught you how to let loose and have fun. She's understanding, she doesn't judge. She also taught you how nice it is to be marrying Steve, a man who's not sensitive at all, never cries, because you do get enough of that from your girlfriends. Now Steve, the man, you've made it. You're a man. But being your best man, you and I both know there's a lot of men along the way who taught you things to get you where you are tonight. Like our Uncle George, who never in his lifetime missed an occasion to give us a gift or write out a card, teaching you the strict importance of generosity, as well as how nice of a bonus it is to marry an exceptionally organized woman. We have Mr. Edzema, who taught you kindness. Mr. A was always kind enough to take us on vacations, and still to this day, after waking up one morning and finding a Labatt Blue bottle cap in our hotel room, he believed it was the maid drinking in there. <laughs> he taught us men like a dad, but not your dad. Those are the ones you liked. Roy is here. Roy taught us consistency. He's a rock. Every weekend for the past X number of years, he's given us counsel and good advice, and we can never really go a weekend without hearing 20 Stevie Boys and Johnny Boys. 
Right, Roy Boy? <laughs> Our friend Joe is here, Joe Misadri, who along with you and I were known as members of the crew. Seven best friends growing up doing crazy things. Joe never stopped supporting us and laughing with us. Joe taught us loyalty. He was loyal even when the crew shrunk down to, well, Joe. <laughs> Our great friend Dominic taught us two things. One, the value of both friendship and family. And two, why Italians call non-blood relatives uncle. <laughs> and finally, our father, Pete. <laughs> what can I say? Um, I guess Dad taught us a couple minor things. Each is just a number. When you clean the cabinets, the top count. <laughs> and when you detail the car, do the effing thing right. <laughs> but the main thing Dad taught us as men, which is really important, because you will be a dad someday, is that Dad will always, always, always be there. No matter if you're punched, kicked, bullied, robbed, slapped, bit, or bullied, we know for sure. Dad was and is always there. How do we know? Because that's just a list of the stuff I did to give <laughs> Seriously speaking, all these traits, what have you done with them? Well, together, the two of you demonstrate the best of them. With me, you always get it. You're generous. You take in everyone and everyone to your home. You are kind. No matter what I was trying to do in my professional life, you guys supported me. Take, took trains and buses and cars out to see me, you two define loyalty. You treat all your friends like family, for they really are not friends. Therefore, you may as well call everyone in this room uncle. <laughs> for me, you guys are always there, as dad was, and mom and grandma. Without any doubt, the two of you will be outstanding parents. So Stephen Chubb, on behalf of our family, our mother, our father, grandmother, everyone else here, we wish you many happy times continuing to be all the great things you are. Steve, you're marrying into a great family of people. A different family. But to paraphrase our favorite movie of all time, The Godfather, it was said on screen, Italian women are more dangerous than shotguns. <laughs> so Steve, I think you're good. <laughs> Steve and Chubb, we wish you the very best that life can offer and hope that the joy and happiness you both feel and share today will continue throughout your lifetime. Here's to the man of the day, but more importantly, to the most perfect and beautiful bride I've honestly ever seen in my lifetime. My new sister, Chubb. Our best man, John DeRosa, one last time. Harley, please sit back. Your salad should be out already. Enjoy.